Welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's video cast. Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post, now joined by Brett Holmes from the Arkham Menard series, of course, the driver of the number 23 Chevrolet for his own Brett Holmes racing team. Brett, how are you, bud? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, boy, what a race you had in Memphis. I know you didn't, I know uh, you're disappointed that you didn't get the win, but you had a big points day. And of course, you retook the points lead from Michael Self. Now you came into Memphis with a three point uh, behind, three points behind, and now you're two points ahead. Uh, how, do, how does it feel to have the points lead heading in to uh, a dirt race in Springfield? Uh, it's good. I mean, I uh, I definitely wish I had a, a bigger cushion than what I've got, you know. And I think um, a couple more, uh, a couple decisions we, you know, I think it should have made earlier in the season. Um, would have helped us in that aspect of it. But, man, yeah, Memphis was tough. I mean, we had a, a really, really great car. I mean, that's uh, – to we, I mean, we half-tracked the field at one point in a short track. That's a, that's a pretty big de- pretty big deal. So, um, you know, I hated losing that race. And, um, you know, they just uh, got by us on the restart there, that last restart. And uh, was kind of frustrating. But, uh, uh, you know, there's still two races left in the season. So – it's uh it's not over yet and yeah like you said the dirt race it's uh it's a wild card so anything can happen there and um hopefully we can uh you know get a good finish or a win out of it you know of course uh was uh, very up in the air for most of this year that we didn't know if arca was going to go on dirt racing of course springfield's been on the schedule for a very long time along with ducoin um what what is it about dirt racing that you just like so much uh, well, you know, I think I just like the environment of dirt racing better. Um, you know, that's uh, what I miss about it most when I came from dirt late models is, um, you know, kind of the people and, um, you know, how much more laid back it was compared to what we do now. But, um, and uh, the driving style for sure. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's really fun to let the car hang out um, and uh, be really loose like they are. Um, I definitely miss that, and uh, it, but it's a big, a big change to go from that driving style to driving on asphalt. It's uh, two entirely different things, and um, you know uh, I think people with a dirt dirt racing background before they came to asphalt is a uh, is a good challenge, and I think it's uh, it really helps and teaches you car control. Um, you know, but these uh, obviously these cars aren't built to race on tracks like that, so it just makes it that much more interesting. You guys have been going at it almost every week, I think, except um, like except one off week in like July. Every single week since I think June, since the series came back in June. Um, how how much is that? On, does it take a toll on you? Because I know you're also a student at Auburn. You're in your dorm room right now. Um, what's that? How much pressure? How much? Um, how much of a load is balancing racing while also trying to finish up school? Uh, yeah, like you said, it's uh, it's been really tough. You know, we've had one off weekend in like four months. So, um, you know, just uh, just traveling a lot and um, not getting to put as much time towards school as you know normal. You know, you normally would. So it makes it tough on your classes and 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 staying you know doing well in those. But uh, you know, I've been been able to keep it up, and you know, a lot of people face the same thing. And um, you know, uh, it's just, just part of this year. It's just part of this crazy year. Everybody, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get in 20 races and it, uh, just really condensed the schedule, um, to what it is now. And it's just part of it. So, you know, everybody's got to deal with the same thing. And, um, it's just, uh, it's really cool that ARCA has put together a good schedule and we've, we've got the rest of the year in almost. And, um, you know, we've, we've only got a few more weeks here. So, uh, before the off season. So, uh, we'll have some time off then. Yeah, of course you have uh, have this weekend, an off week, and then you're going to Kansas. Um, Of course, the track that you won at earlier this year. Do these last two tracks, are you confident that you can win at both of them? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, Springfield, you know, we finished third there last year, uh, and we've definitely proven that this year we've improved on a lot from last year. So, um, you know, we've, we've gone into every race with the mindset to win, and we've been really close to winning multiple races um and uh you know like I said a few decisions differently and and we we could have closed out some of those races and I wish we would have um but some of these guys are tough to be out here you know we've got we've we've got really strong competition and um really really strong drivers and teams to up against and 
um, that just makes me more proud of my team and how far we've come and uh, over the past few years and um, everybody that's just a part of our program and, to, and got it to where it's at now. You went from uh, not racing, mo at racing part time in 18 to now, and I think a big credit to that goes to uh, maybe goes to Shane Huffman coming in there and basically changing that team. How much of an impact has he had with the, with your team? Yeah, it's been huge. It's been a totally different team. You know, we went from in, in 2018 struggling to finish in the top five, uh, same in 17. And uh, ever since him and the guys have came on board from uh, starting last year and they stuck with me this year. And, um, you know, we've built a really strong relationship and it's uh, it's been great, man. It's, uh, I couldn't have asked for better guys to be around every weekend. And, um, you know, we've, we've got a really good thing going here. And I think not just for now, but for future and, and competing in this series and, and maybe, you know, something outside of that. So um, I'm really excited to see what we can do. And, um, you know, just uh, just really grateful that we've, you know, we're, we're able and are capable to to uh, be in the position to win the ARCA championship. It's a, it's a pretty big deal. And, um, you know, I think uh, we can close it out and get it done. Brett, do you, uh, where do you see yourself racing? you know, not just next year, but next few years down. Is it, is your home here in ARCA or do you want to, do you want to go to the truck series and maybe race there or maybe the Xfinity series or something like that? Or what do you want to do? Well, you know, I, don't know. I mean, I, um, that's, uh, you know, the def, you know, your goal is to always improve, you know what I mean? You always want to be somewhere you're not. So um, at the current moment. So yeah, definitely. I think my goal right now is to, to make it to the truck series or Xfinity series and, um, you know, when I get there, I'm sure my goal is going to change again. So um, I think, uh, I think, you know, not just me, but my team is capable and, and has the potential to do something like that too. So, um, you know, we've shown that we can, we can do it in this series and I think we can do it again. We've, we've gotten the guys to do it. And, um, you know, I, uh, I just, but I want to prove myself and in, in every level or series I go to, I want to prove myself before I move up. You know, you see a lot of people don't do that and they kind of move on before winning or winning a championship. And it's, uh, you know, I, I think that's kind of the standard we've set for ourselves and that's what we want to do. Is, do you, do you know what your plans are for next year? Or are you still trying to figure that out or still trying to get through this year? Yeah, not, not yet. I mean, we've, we've uh, talked about it in the last couple of weeks a little bit. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, the silly season start probably, uh, it's really starting now. So, um, you know, we'll, uh, we're, we're still trying to figure it out and work out some things and, and see what we can do. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm really up for anything next year as far as um, the ARCA series goes or past that. So, uh, but we're, you know, you know, we've thought about, we've talked about it a little bit here and there, but we are, you know, hundred percent focused on this championship. Now um, these, these last two races, that's all we're thinking about and all we're uh, studying and talking about and, and, um, watching so um you know that's the that's the biggest goal right now and um i'd want you know i, I don't want anything more than, than to win this arca championship and um prove that you know our, our team you know deserves the respect that others have yeah well brad can um thanks for coming on and talking with us good luck this weekend at springfield and good luck in a few weeks at kansas and uh, uh hopefully you come away with that championship yeah thank you i appreciate having me on